active team are now in Chesham on another ANPR operation. Rosie Vosser and Darren Staley are on the lookout for a driver who's turned around and driven off into a lay-by after spotting the police camera van. We've got a Mitsubishi Shogun which has come up. Uh, there it is. We've got um, a load of hits on the ANPR. Um, it looks like he's done a dodgy Yui. You wait, you talk to him and I'll pull in front. You jump out. You've got lots of um, information markers on the vehicle. And obviously, you've come down past the van. It looked like you were trying yeah. to turn around so you wouldn't come past us. A phone call, job. A phone call, right. You just jump out of the car for us so you don't get run over. Have you got any idea on you at all? No, I haven't. You got a full driving licence? Yeah, yeah. Rosie decides to check if there's anything dodgy with the vehicle, which made the driver do a Yui. Is the bonnet released outside, do you know, guys? Have you got a driving licence, mate? I have to produce it, yeah. I don't know where, where, where is my driving licence. So you keep asking him all the questions. No, no, Can you not answer for yourself? I'll give him my driving Oh, right, but he still, he should... No, I understand that. I said, has he got a driving licence? He asked you. He should know. Oh, right. I said, have you got one? How long have you been over here for? year and a half. year and a half? So, therefore, you should have applied for a British one. If you're over here for over a year, then your licence doesn't count. Okay. So therefore, you shouldn't yeah. be driving. Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> but now, what do you mean? Now I tell you. <laughs> yeah, 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 I didn't know that. You didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, do you want to just come and sit in the back of our yeah. car and do some paperwork with you? A PNC check reveals some interesting news. PNC says it's got no insurance. In fact, the Mitsubishi is owned by the passenger who's banned from driving. Rosie's got a sneaking suspicion about the sudden U-turn. You'll be reported for having no licence and no insurance, and the vehicle will be seized because the other bloke's disqual. Well, count yourself lucky, mate. You could be nicked for perverting the course of justice as well. We ain't stupid. We know you swapped seats because your mate's disqual, isn't he? He was driving it, and you've swapped around, haven't you? Yeah. He employs you, and he's told you to drive it, hasn't he? So you're getting done for him now? Cos you're going to get points on your licence. You're going to get the fine. You're going to go to you're, court. You're going to be the one that we're going to get recorded as you being the offender. And when you go and try and get insurance again now, uh, you won't be able to. Yeah, you could track yeah. that up and It's how much you want. It's how much you want your job, mate. At the end of the day, we should be nicking both of you, really. Right, we're seizing the vehicle because your friend's got uh, no insurance to drive. Yeah. Um, and he's also... He's quite lucky not to be nicked for perverting the course of justice because we all know that you were driving the car when it came down the hill and you've gone in there and switched seats. Don't even argue, because he's already told me. All right? But he's got no insurance. You definitely haven't got insurance, so he'll be seizing the vehicle and you'll have to pay £105 cash to get the vehicle back. But There's no insurance on that car. Insurance. No, there isn't. My dad's got disability because he's had his leg amputated. Right, OK. But your dad's not driving at the moment, is he? He, is, he does drive because that's where he's yeah, on. Yeah, he's not driving now. it at oh, the no, moment, sorry, no, sorry, right? Sorry, the point is, is, we've stopped it now, it's got no insurance. Yeah. You're banned from driving, he's yeah. got no licence. Yeah. You've both got no insurance, yeah. so we're seizing the vehicle. Rosie drives the 4x4 to the location of the AMPR van, where it's used as a stark advert on the dangers of no insurance. The South African was summoned to court for driving without insurance or a licence. His boss lost his car, but walked away scot-free. Monday morning, Charlie Etheridge and Chris Ruff, Tango Victor 3-2, have just left base when they get an urgent call about a break-in. Let's call Holker. That sounds like a good little village to go through. Tango Victor 3-2. Hi, it's Mike Lee from HBI. Hello, sir. Just catching break, just come in. Right. One entry, Bellingham Road, and Right, OK, we'll make to that immediately, then. All right, guys. All right, thank you. Yeah, thanks for calling, boss. Cheers, bye. There's been a spate of burglaries in Chesham, and all the proactive units are called in to join the hunt for the crims. Yeah, 3132, redeploy, redeploy, Chesham bound. Um, the name of the road is Bellingham Road in Chesham. They've just had another distraction. Right, OK, well done. OK, see you in a bit. Bye. Arriving in Chesham, it's not long before the pair spot a suspicious motor. Yeah, I think it's a possible contender. The vehicle's 
two up, scrappy looking car. It's um, reported as being in trade. There's basically no details, no information on, on who the, uh, the owner of the vehicle might be, which is something that these sort of people do. Make it make it difficult to trace any vehicle. So we'll have a word with them and see how we get on. They follow it into a petrol station and decide to have a chat with the driver. The vehicle's currently shown as not having a keeper. That's what I stopped to speak to you about. Yeah, I've only just bought it. Have you? Yeah, 250 quid. It's tax, Lovely. it's MOT. It's worth 250 it's, quid of anyone's money. You know what I mean? I've Obviously. had it about a week. I've sent away with a little book. Yep. What, what insurance have you got for it? I've got third party farm theft. On this Good, one. if you just tell me who it's with, I'll give them a ring and... and um... I, I can't remember, sir. I've only had it a week. And I've only just done it. Only bought the car a week ago and can't remember the insurance company. It's not a good start. What will happen is if you can't prove to me who your insurance is with, I'll seize the car. Well, I so. I can't do it here, I'm saying. So. Well, yeah, I know, but you must have a rough idea of who you've insured it with. To crack down on illegal drivers, police now have the power to seize the car of anyone driving without insurance or a licence. Threatened with the loss of his wheels, the bloke suddenly seems to remember the name of his insurance company. From this from a place up in London. Yep. And I've got it off of my mate Fudge. Fudge. Yep. Fudge's insurance, good. Fudge's insurance. More like fudging the facts, but there's a new twist. I can't prove it to you unless I go home, but you want to take the car off of it, I'll just take my stuff out of the back of it. Okay, that's fine. That's what we'll do then. What a polite gentleman. He says that he can't prove that he's got no insurance on the uh, vehicle at the moment, so he's more than willing to give up his vehicle and uh, take his stuff out the back and walk home. Unbelievable. The guy only bought his car a week ago, but now he's happy to give it up and call a cab. You get yourself your, your taxi organised, whatever you need to do, and then... Uh... Hanging around, boys. Sorry? Hanging around. Yeah, because that'll cost more, won't it? Checking the police computer, Charlie may have found the answer to why the bloke's so keen to dump his car. Got details show this gentleman's an expired substantive licence holder. I oh, see. Yeah. Basically, he's had a, a full licence at some stage, probably lost it through um, being disqualified. Basically, he's not reapplied for his uh, licence, which you have to do as part of your disqualification, which means basically you shouldn't be driving the car on the road. Just take your head out of the car for one minute and I'll explain what... We need to do. Yes, sir. Okay. Right, okay. Just stand still for a minute, okay? Because it's important, okay? Right. Our records show that you've got an expired substantive license. No, my license is not expired, so it's not been reapplied for a right. difference, okay? Okay, so you've not reapplied for your license no. then, basically. What DVLA will require you to do is um, reapply for the license in order to drive back on the road and they'll reissue you with a license. So what's going to happen is you're going to be reported for the consideration of the question of prosecuting you for the offence of okay. driving with an expired substantive licence, OK? I don't mind paying for that, you know what I'm saying? If I haven't been applied for it, then if there's a penalty for it, then I'll have to pay that. I've got no problem with it. Right. Yeah, my headline. The bloke's just admitted that he's got no driving licence. No insurance company in the world will cover him, but he still seems to think he's insured. You're convinced I haven't got any insurance. Yeah. And I'd love you to be beyond the counter when I bring it in. I really would. Do you want to take your insurance into the police station, do you? I'm going to take it in the police station. All right, place, let's, all right. I'll give you one of these then so it can get back to me so you can. Well, I don't mind. Even if everything works out to be perfectly mm -hmm. okay, it's still going to cost me. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah that's right. Making... Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's a bit harsh on the person. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah, yeah, your, your meter's running. Which is a bit, a bit yeah. harsh on you. It's up to 120 quid now already. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he gets in the front and this, the big chap goes in the back. The driver was not connected to the burglaries, but was later charged with driving without a proper licence and insurance. His car was crushed.